Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you are doing well. In this video, I am going to share some of the useful Unix command tips that we can use in our daily work. Alright, let's get started. Let me start off with some useful keyboard shortcuts which we can use to make command line editing faster. By the way, I am on bash shell here. But most of the shortcuts that I'm going to show here works on C shell as well. All right. Let's see how we can move the cursor. I just type cat and then file. Okay. To go to the beginning of the line, hit control A. To go to the end of the line, hit control E. To go back one word, hit escape B. To go forward one word, hit escape F. Okay. Now let us see how we can convert the case. Okay. I go back one word. To change the lower case into upper case, I hit escape U. Okay. I go back one word again. And this time I am going to convert upper case to lower case. So I hit escape L. I go back again. And I am going to hit escape C now. So this basically converts the case for the first character in the word and then after that it moves the cursor to the end of the word. Okay, That's about converting the case. And to swap the current word with the previous word, right? So just hit escape T. Okay. And control T to swap the last two characters. Okay, so this is useful when we make some typos. Okay. And hit control underscore to undo the last key press. And we can repeat this multiple times. Okay. Now let us see how to cut and paste. So I am typing cat file again here. Okay. I hit control W to cut the word before the cursor. Okay. And whatever the portion that was cut is added to the clipboard. So we can access this anytime by pressing control Y. So control Y paste the word that we just cut. Okay. So I go back one word here and I hit control K. So this basically cut the part of the line after the cursor. Okay. I hit control Y to paste again and control U to basically cut the part of the line before the cursor. Okay. That's about cut and paste. Let me type something cat file and I also have a file here numbers. Okay. And my, if you look at my cursor position, so it is right now at the character N. Okay. Let's say uh, I realize that I need to change something at the beginning of my command and I want to quickly return to where my cursor position is now. So we have a shortcut for this. Hit control XX. Okay. So now it goes back to the beginning of the line. And when I hit control XX again, it goes to the cursor position where it was earlier. Okay. This is quite useful if you are editing long commands. All right. Let's say I want to run a command cat numbers. Okay. But I want to clear the screen and place my command at the top of the window. So I hit control L. Okay. To execute the previous command, just hit bang key twice. To pull the last word from the previous command, just use bang and then dollar key. For example, to open file numbers using less editor. So I type less and then space, just bang key and then dollar sign. Okay. To execute the previous command, 
that starts with a specific character, hit bank key, and then the letter that you want to search for. Okay. For example, I want to execute my previous command that was started with character W, which is basically which shell, right? Now let us see how we can control the processes in Unix terminal. I type ls here, but I don't want to execute this process. So I hit control C to kill it. Let's see how we can suspend the process. Okay. I'm just opening a file numbers here using Vim editor. I just make some edit here. Okay. Let's say I want to go back to the shell to do some stuff and want to return to this Vim session again. So we don't have to kill this uh, Vim session. We could rather suspend this foreground process by hitting Control Z. So now you see it is stopped. So we can verify this whether it has gone to the background by typing BG. Okay, it confirms that, and I can use the shell as normal. Okay, and to go back to the Vim session again, I type FG. It basically brings the background process to foreground. And now you see the edit that we have done earlier is still there. So I can resume from here. As most of us know, cat prints the contents of a file to the display. To print the file in reverse order, the easiest way would be using TAC which is basically cat spelled backwards. Alternatively, we could use tail command with dash r option to do the same. Tree is a Unix command which displays directories, subdirectories and files from the level where we run this command. In this example, my current directory has two directories and eight files. All right. Let me talk about a bit on diff command. As most of us know, diff is used to see the difference between two files. For example, I'm trying to diff file one from directories dir1 and dir2. There is no difference. But diff can be used to see the difference between two directories as well. For example, I go into dir1 to see the differences between dir1 and dir2, use diff dash a or q. Okay. I'm trying to diff with dir2. Currently I am at dir1. So as we can see, there is no difference in file 1 we have seen just now and file 2 in dir1 and dir2 are different. So it displays the message, they are differing and file 3 is only exist in dir2. So as we can see here. Suppose we have a file with fields of variable length. Viewing it on the terminal can be messy because in this file, one field in one row is longer than the other. To view this file in a nice table format, there could be many different ways. One way could be using awk with format print method. Okay, dollar one to print the first column, dollar two for the second, and so on till dollar four. And for the first column, I'm going to specify a field width of 10, and because it's a string, I'm specifying it with s. The second column is, a, is an integer, so I specify with uh, d and third and fourth are strings again and at the end I am adding a new line character. 
Okay. But there is an easy way to print this in a nice table format. So pipe this file to the command column and specify dash t. Okay. So by default, column delimits on white space. Okay. But if you have a file, uh, let's say I have a CSV file here, which is delimited with comma character. And to view this in a nice table format, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe this to column command again. Okay. But this time I'm specifying the delimiter as comma. Sometimes we might want to see common lines across two different files. In Unix, there are several different ways to do it. Let us use a simple grep first. I have two files here, file 1 and file 2. I am going to use a simple grep command with dash x. x basically forces the pattern to match only whole lines and then followed by lowercase f. So lowercase f is basically to obtain the pattern from the file itself and then the arguments would be file 1 and file 2. Okay. As we can see the common lines between file 1 and file 2 are displayed. But in Unix there is a dedicated command to achieve this. The command is called com. You can see the syntax over here. Okay. I'm going to use dash 1, 2 and then file 1 followed by file 2. But do note, we need to make sure both files are sorted before we use com command. Okay, we achieved the same here. Using com dash 3 on file 1 and file 2 basically displays the unique lines from both file 1 and file 2. So as we can see in the first column, 4 and 5 are unique to first file and 6 and 7 are unique to file 2. Okay. We can use this command to display unique lines from file 1 and file 2 separately as well. So let's say if I use dash 2, 3 on file 1 and file 2, it basically displays the unique lines from file 1. Okay. So what happened here is dash 2 option suppresses the lines that are unique to file 2 and 3 suppresses the common lines. Okay. If I run the same command using dash 1 3 it displays the unique lines from file 2. I have an example file here. Let us see how to cut a specific portion from this file. Use cut space dash b to cut a specific byte and then the position number. Okay, in this example we have cut the second byte from each line. We can also specify the range. Okay. Do note the space after dash b is optional. So we can join them together to get the same result. And start and end positions are not compulsory in the range. We can either give start or end. For example, if I just try with 4 dash, it basically extracts from the fourth position to all the way to the end of each line. Okay. And let's say if I try with dash 6, it basically means it extracts from the first byte position all the way to the sixth position. To cut by character, replace dash b with dash c. And we can pretty much uh, try all the combinations that we have just tried with dash b. Okay. Most Unix files does not have fixed length lines. To extract the useful information, we may need to cut by fields rather than columns. Let us see uh, with a simple example. 
cut dash D for the delimiter, I'm going to specify the space. Because if you look at this uh, file, each field is separated with a space. Okay. Hence, my delimiter is a space. And then dash F followed by the field number that I want to cut from this file. So this has cut the third field. Okay. You can also specify the range. Okay using dash operator. Again, the space after dash F is an optional thing here. So we can join them together to get the same result. This is about cut. Now let us see uh, how to use paste command to merge two files. I have two files, file one and file two. I'm using paste on file one and file two to merge them horizontally. Okay, it is basically the parallel merging. If you want to merge file 1 and file 2 sequentially, use dash s option. We can merge files uh, with a specific delimiter. For example, I want to merge them with comma. So I can specify the delimiter using dash d. Okay. We can try with multiple delimiters. Before that, let me show uh, what is in my file tree. Okay, I'm gonna pass file tree as an argument. This time I am going to specify two delimiters. As we can see here, first file 1 and file 2 are joined with colon and then the file 2 and file 3 are joined with a second delimiter which is comma. Okay. Uh, let me show you uh, another example uh, with paste. So I am going to use file 1 for this. I am going to pipe this to paste and then dash and then dash, okay. So this basically uh, combines every two lines in this file. If you want to combine every three lines, just add one more dash. Four lines, add one more. So and this list goes on, okay. This is quite useful. Now let us see how to use cut and paste in a single command, okay. I am going to use uh, file and file1 for this, okay. I am going to cut with a delimiter space on my file, okay. I am going to cut the fourth field and I am going to pipe this to the paste command, okay and then dash here. So what happened here is the paste command has merged file 1 and the output of the first command which is the uh, fourth field from file 4, file, okay. If you don't specify a dash here what happens is it just displays the file 1 content, okay. The output of the first cut command is not pasted. So if you want to merge something, you need to have two files, okay. That's why we have added a hyphen earlier. You can swap this if you want. Let's say if you want to uh, print the uh, output of the first cut command into the first column and file one content into the second column, just use this command. That's all I have for now. I hope you find it useful. I will follow this up with another one later. Alright. Please do subscribe for more updates. See you in the next one. Bye.